Hi, my name's Matt. I'm Gabe. I'm his dad, he's my son. And welcome to WKD TV. On today's show, Apple Bob Flower Face, five penalty challenge, and a reflection from the new NYUK president, Tom Burke. So we hope you enjoy the show. See you later in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to this challenge. Uh, I'm down, no I'm winning. Am I winning? Yeah. 3-2? Yeah. I'm winning 3-2 at the moment. Got to keep this momentum up. The father and versus son challenges are not going well for me. Definitely not. So I've got to win this one. I've got to keep the momentum up. So today we're doing Apple Bob Flower Face. We have best out of five, first one to three. Apples, bobbing, you know what that is. Um, at the end of that, the one who loses um, gets flour in the face. Oh, ketchup on the head. Strawberry milkshake in the face. Ooh. Beans oh. all over the head. I'm not excited for that. This one. is what we're doing. This is what we're doing for you. COVID 19. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you ready, Gabe? Are you ready? Yes. Let me just get my safety equipment on. <laughs> it's not really safety equipment. Thank you. Best out of three. Uh, when we're going down and when we're bobbing, first one to bob up can press the other person's face down in the water. Okay, Gabe. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Fuck off. How did you do that so quick? No way. I'm not believing that. I did. What? Who's there? No, no. I did. I did. No way. One. Nail. Fine. Put it in. What nail? No. How? Uh -huh. how? How are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go. <laughs> ah. Yes. <laughs> one oh. One oh. Oh no, I'm going to lose this one. I can't get it. That was a lucky one, the first one. My teeth went straight in. One all. You ready? Yeah. Steady. Go. Wow, no way! Two, one, no! Wait, no. No, I can't do it. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. No! Yes, I've got a good three. Two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh, it got my throat. <laughs> yes. Oh. Two, all. Two, all. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, you're right. <laughs> Two, Oh, this is the decider. Hold on, let me take the. We yeah. decided to take this off at the beginning. Just to make it harder. Just to make it. We don't want you harder. cheating. Okay, ready? Three. Wait. Two. One we'll go. Oh. I don't have enough water in mine. <laughs> no. no! No! You dropped it! It's going back in. <laughs> I don't have enough water in it. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> It's there, baby! It's water it's there, it. baby! I couldn't get oh, it! Oh, you could have done that! Get it! No! Yes! I didn't get have enough water! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no! Please get don't! It. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw he just threw a bucket out of me! <laughs> okay. Three, oh. two, momentum, oh. come on. It's 40 to you now. Yeah. I didn't have enough water in it. <laughs> All right, just, oh. you, you threw a bucket at me. Do the thing, do the thing, Gabe. Put the hand up. And we're back. Shut up. Get in. I, I, I just want to say that I'm not accepting this. What's the score? It's 4-2. Four 4-2! Two. Four two. He threw a bucket at me. <laughs> I, how do you think I'm supposed to feel? Uh, that was an accident, Gabe. I wasn't aiming. Okay. Could have been aiming. It'd have been right in your face. I'm, like, this is the worst This punishment. is actually the worst punishment of them all. Ah! Ah! Water! <laughs> Milk. <laughs> Strawberry milk! <laughs> cold! <laughs> oh, this is the worst one! I hate it! It's the best one! <laughs> it's the best. I'm actually crying! 
Oh, ketchup, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, ketchup. Uh, I hate ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the camera game. No, I don't Please. want to. <laughs> oh, it stinks. <laughs> I have a lot of work. Are you alright? <laughs> no. I have a mouth open. <laughs> and on that, I think we'll leave it there. Four, two, baby. Four, two. I was, I was just six. sick. Sweet. <laughs>tuning into WKD TV uh, it's great to be with you today and able to share this reflection with you for anyone who doesn't know who I am uh, my name is Tom and I've been asked to kind of just share a little reflection with you guys uh, for this session of WKD TV so I'm going to be talking uh, a little bit on what goes on in Matthew 22 now I'm out about walking so I've not got my bible with me so I'd encourage you guys to kind of follow up after if you can it's in Matthew 22 and what we're looking at is when Jesus is teaching in Jerusalem and he's teaching to the crowds and the Jewish leaders have kind of come in and they're starting to ask him questions. They're a little unsure, I say a little, a lot unsure uh, about kind of some of the stuff that he's been teaching. And so they try and plant questions that are going to trip him up. Um, and so what they ask him is, should we be paying taxes to Caesar? Now, they know that if Jesus answers yes, we should be paying taxes to Caesar, then he's going against Jewish law, which says that paying taxes in this way, the specific one that they're talking about, is like putting your allegiance with that person instead of God. Now, if he says, no, you shouldn't be paying taxes to Caesar, then essentially he's rebelling against Roman rule, which in and of itself is enough for Jesus to be arrested, trialled, maybe even executed, which is exactly what the Jewish leaders are after. Now, what Jesus does is, is that he answers in a way that really kind of sees through the question they're asking and tackles the issue. And Jesus says, you should give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but you should give to God what is God's. See, the issue is that they've forgotten their identity. Now, on these coins that they showed Jesus, you know, it has Caesar's image on it. And so Jesus is saying, but you bear God's image. Don't forget that. Because, you know, this is why they were having such a hard time embracing who Jesus is. They'd forgotten who they were in God. They'd forgotten that the image of God was imprinted in them. And so Jesus kind of takes them back with this kind of imagery and language to Genesis 1. It reminds us that we're created in God's image. I want to do a little bit of that today. I want to remind you guys that you're created in the very same way with the image of God implanted within you. The very God of the universe, this enormous, powerful, merciful, loving, gracious being made you, created you, and he said, I'm proud of it. Like an artist, he kind of looks at the masterpiece of you and he signs it he says i'm going to place my image in this person i'm going to put a reflection of all the very best of me in this person now this is this is a not a general thing this is a specific thing as well you know in isaiah 43 1 it talks about how god has redeemed us god has called us by name and we are his sounds pretty specific to me God who knows your name. God who calls your name. That same God has planted a reflection of the very best of himself in you. 
and he specifically wants you to know how much he loves you. I want to just kind of fast forward to the New Testament a little bit and um, this passage in 1 Corinthians 3.16 tells us about how as believers the Spirit of God now dwells within us. God has taken this image that he planted inside us and if, if we believe in Jesus, if we belong to Jesus, then God's Spirit, God's very being, God himself, this enormous God that we can't really comprehend, is living in us and he's taken all that good, all that image that he placed in you and he's dragging out the very best of it so that you reflect him in the most beautiful of ways. What I want us to kind of take from this is, first of all, that, you know, isolation is a difficult time and sometimes, you know, self-esteem, self-doubt can really kind of crop up when we're on our own and we're left alone with our own thoughts. So I want to remind you that if you're feeling down about yourself at the moment, if you're doubting who you are, that whether you believe in God or not, the truth is that he has made you and he is proud of the work that he's done. He loves every bit of you enough to sign it with his image. Second thing is that, you know, for those of us who believe in Jesus, you know, God himself is now living in us and that's an honour and a privilege. It's amazing. It's incredible. So how is that going to change how you live from this day forward? For those maybe who don't know Christ yet, I want to remind you that in Isaiah it does tell us that he's calling you by name. So you can be there where the very presence of God is living in you. He's drawing out the image that he's built into you. And he wants to help you to fulfill all of that beautiful potential that you have. The third thing is kind of a reminder of some of the stuff that the other guys have been talking about in the reflections this week. And it's all been about kind of building that relationship with God and how how can we... Um, do stuff that's productive in this time of isolation and I want to just encourage us to think about that knowing now that we reflect God's image you know if we hold God's image that means that when people see us they should see a very reflection of who God is so what are we doing right now that allows people to see that what are we doing to help others what are we doing to bless other people and so I just want to encourage you to think creatively about it Stay safe, obviously, but it could be something like a phone call to relatives that maybe your parents are talking to but you've not talked to, or a phone call to friends, whatever it is. It will make a real difference in someone's life and begin to really show the very best of God to someone else. Thanks for listening, guys. Hi everybody, welcome back to Father vs Son Challenge. Today we've got a new challenge, it's not a stamina challenge, it's not a speed challenge, it's another football challenge. Come on, I need to win this one. This is important, because it is 4-1. 4-1 at the moment. Gabe has been, Gabe's been amazing, hasn't he? 4-1. So, five penalty challenge. The first penalty is a normal penalty. The second penalty is a uh, backwards penalty. Oh, the third penalty is the blindfold. Blindfolded. The fourth penalty is super soaker in the face, just as you're about to take the penalty. And the fifth penalty is the dizzy penalty. And, and if, if it ends on a draw, it's a dizzy penalty and the super soaker at the same time. Now, if you see the net, we see uh, the orange ones on the end are the posts. And the yellow ones, if it hits the yellow one and goes in, it's five points. If it goes in without hitting the yellow one, it's ten points. And if you miss, it's zero points. So, are you ready, Gabe? Yes. I need this. I'm going first. Gabe's going to go first. Okay. Normal penalty first. See you later. Okay, so this is the normal. This is the normal one. I'm just going to shoot it. It's not going to hit anything. All right. Whoa! That ten points. Ten points. Ten points for Gabe. Here we go. Ten points. Ten points, baby. Okay. So this one, 
three steps and you can't look backwards, you have to stay looking at the camera. Okay, so one, two, three. Nice! Yeah! <laughs> 10 points for me. <laughs> 10 points. Okay, three steps forward and then backwards. Wait for it. No way. Ah, no points. Can I at least feel out where the ball is? Yeah, I'll place you in front. Totally blind, can't see a thing. 2010 to Gabe, here we go. <laughs> no, he's done. What? No. Zero point. Touch. Zero point. You can't see him. <laughs> You're not even doing that, hey. come on. Oh. <laughs> you do. You were doing it right the first time. Okay. Okay, there. Now. Yeah. No way. Five. Five. Five, Five points. Five. Super Soaker Challenge. Go. <laughs> Ten. No. Go get it. 30-15. I need a 10. I'm pretty confident with this one. 20 turns, 20 turns. Ready? 80, 19, 20. Run! Over! No fight! I need 10 to win, five to draw. I can honestly say, being 49 years old and getting dizzy, this is going nowhere. I think Gabe's won this one. Because last time I did this, I nearly broke my ankle. Oh, here we go. Are you okay. ready? Arms out. Open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quick out. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, no. Quick out. Oh, you're doing this. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, you're doing this. Eighteen. Nineteen. Let go. I've got. No. Run. Bog off. <laughs> No, that's that. That was a cheat. He stopped. No, no, yeah. retake that. No, well, you, you, did, you did this, and then when? Why did you do that? Oh, I can't retake it. Well, let's call it a draw. Fine, let's call it a draw. We're going to call it a draw. I actually believe I won that. No. The game's cheating again. No, you cheated. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? Okay. If I keep my focus. Brain. I think I've got this. Ready? There. Here. Forward. There. Right. Ready? What, what are you going to throw me at? Do whatever I want. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Go out, you're cheating. <laughs> okay, I've got a chance. No, he doesn't. He does not. Have it's a so hard for a foot. Honestly, dizzy when you get older. Wow. Are you ready, go? Yeah. Arms. <laughs> Ninety. It means so. It means so much to me. I bring you. Get out of the way. Absolutely destroyed! Yeah. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you Tom for a brilliant reflection. Don't forget to send us your TikTok challenges for a chance to win a £10 Amazon gift card. 
See you later in a bit. Wash your hands. Stay safe.